core triatriatum or heart with three atrial chambers could be either core triatriatum sinistrum or core triatriatum dexter depending on which side the additional chamber is present. In core triatriatum sinister there is a superior and inferior chamber with a membrane dividing the left atrium. In core triatriatum dexter right atrium is divided into a medial and a lateral chamber. Though both are rare congenital anomalies, between the two, cord triatriatum dexter is less common. Cord triatriatum sinister is often associated with other cardiac malformations in up to 80% of cases. Secondum atrial septal defect and anomalous pulmonary venous connection are the most commonly associated anomalies. The superior chamber receives the pulmonary veins and the inferior chamber is connected to the atrioventricular wall. The inferior chamber has the atrial appendage and true inratrial septum, hence it is a true atrium. Size and number of communications between the upper and lower chambers are variable. Sometimes the axillary chamber may connect with the right atrium. Symptoms depend on whether the connection between the two chambers is obstructive or not. If it is obstructive, symptoms are likely due to pulmonary venous hypertension. Symptoms could also be due to other associated cardiac malformations. If there is no significant obstruction, it may be an incidental finding at echocardiography done for other reasons. In that case, no treatment is required. Surgical correction can be done if the membrane between the two chambers is obstructive. Three-dimensional echocardiography can be useful in planning surgical correction as it gives a good spatial orientation of the chambers and the dividing structure. In core triatriatum dexter, the right atrium is divided into two chambers, possibly by the persistent sinus venosus valve. It is a combination of the fetal eustachian valve, which guards the inferior venal cowl orifice, and the thebaisian valve, which guards the coronary sinus ostium. In fetal life, the eustachian valve is meant for directing the oxygenated blood coming from the umbilical vein through the inferior venal cava to the left atrium across the foramen ovale. A non-obstructive septum is often an incidental finding while an obstructive partition can cause features of right heart failure with systemic venous congestion. Initial set of references on cord triatriatum. Second set of references on cord triatriatum. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.